We are fortunate because in California, a number of species of whales travel along our coast, and we have a chance to see them. This is the Thank You Ocean Report. We literally have whales here all year round. There are some whales, like the gray whales, that move through California's waters twice each year on their migration between their northern latitude feeding grounds and their lower latitude breeding grounds in Mexico. Mary Jane Schramm is a media and public outreach specialist for the Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuary and co-author of West Coast Whale Watching. She says we can count on seeing gray whales during the winter and springtime. And then during late spring and into summer and fall, we have humpback and blue whales primarily that specifically target these waters to feed. The reason they do this is because it's the seafood. We have tremendously abundant marine life in the marine sanctuaries, and so they take advantage of that. And this is really one of the few places on the planet where we can support such large populations of these whale species that come here to feed. And the number of whales in the waters off California can be quite amazing. We have roughly two to 3,000 blue whales in this local population and each blue whale when it's in full feeding mode can consume up to four tons of food in a single day. And a healthy ecosystem can have a dramatic impact on the health of whales. According to John Kalambakitis, who's one of the foremost blue and humpback whale biologists in the world, He made a statement a few years ago saying that it's no coincidence that the only recovering population of blue whales on Earth feeds in the waters of California's National Marine Sanctuaries. Not all whales can be seen from shore, but you can definitely see gray whales. They can be seen from shore, especially during the springtime when you have the mothers and their newborn calves traveling north because they travel closer to shore than the others and they travel much more slowly because obviously the calf is not going to be up to really rushing up to the Arctic feeding grounds when mom is right next to it. But humpbacks and blue whales sometimes will come close to shore if that's where their food is. And blues generally you don't see from shore because krill, which is the almost exclusive food that blue whales feed upon, are usually found much farther offshore. But humpback whales can switch between krill and small schooling fish like sardines or anchovies. And sometimes those bait fish, that's what they're called, do swarm much closer into shore. And this, of course, is cause for great excitement and some concern, as whales have been seen inside San Francisco Bay, in Santa Cruz Harbor, and even farther inland. But whether inside of a bay or on a boat in the ocean, here are some ways to reduce our impact on the whales. We have to keep in mind that whales are still wildlife. They're not there for our entertainment. They're in our waters for a purpose, whether it's feeding or migrating. People who are in a boat, if you're doing your whale watching from a boat, you must maintain a 300-foot minimum distance from the whale. And that's roughly the length of a football field, so that gives you kind of an orientation. You should drive your boat parallel to the whale if it's traveling in a certain direction and don't jump ahead of the whale to intercept them. Avoid abrupt changes in your vessel speed or direction. Never separate a mother and her calf. And if other boats are present, don't box in the whales. Give them their space. Share the road with them. Most of us are unaware that whales were still being hunted along the California coast through the early 1970s, and their numbers are improving, but very slowly. Now whale watching has become a thriving recreational activity enjoyed all along California's coast. In part two, we'll discuss some of the threats whales face, and we'll offer some additional suggestions for viewing these magnificent creatures. My thanks to Mary Jane Schramm of the Gulf of the Farallons National Marine Sanctuary. If you want to keep up to date on these reports, you can check out our website, thankyouocean.org. I'm Jerry Kay.